Tick Fringe! The following champion versus champion contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it's for the WWE World Championship. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, He can be technically Ohio, savvy. He can brawl with the best. Dean Ambrose. He's an anomaly. He no, he's not firing. He's not. Wrestling heavyweight champion, Dean Ambrose. A Grand Slam champion in WWE. One of the most successful competitors of this generation. And guys, my sources tell me he's got a smoking hot wife. That'd be Renee Byron. Oh. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to oh. miss. Watch out! What a stop! Good grief! Taking some offense. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Ooh! They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Devastating elbow. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. You gotta believe this one's over. Looking at Dean Ambrose's tenure in WWE, Ambrose has always been an odd personality. Never one to conform to the norms of WWE. Ambrose plays mind games with his opponents that seem to be done more for his own amusement than in. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Michael expressed how Dean Ambrose marches to the beat of his own drum. This is true, but don't let his humor fool you. Ambrose carries a dang... Uh-oh, guys. Oh, this is going to be great. Being unhinged, unstable is the calling card of Dean Ambrose. But Corey, I great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. Dodges a bullet there. And a pin attempt. And it's Ambrose able to stop the count. <laughs> Not yet. Big punch finds its mark. As Corey spoke to Dean Ambrose's pain tolerance, it's worth noting that Ambrose is usually inflicting the pain on himself. 
He doesn't care what he does to his body as long as he punishes his opponent. Using your body as a weapon, that is the M.O. of Dean Ambrose. You have to admire a man who's never afraid to swing for the fences. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Dean Ambrose is relentless. This is a man who kissed a bat wrapped in barbed wire during his match against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. The inmate does run the asylum, and we're talking about Dean Ambrose. Irish whip. Guy's not sure how much more Bobby Roode can take. We're finding out. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. It's clear that there's a method to this man's madness. Dean Ambrose doesn't know the meaning of words like stop or quit during a match. Dean Ambrose just keeps fighting. Ambrose is indestructible. The harder the fight, the happier Dean Ambrose is. The man who runs the Ambrose Asylum looks at it like just another day in the office. The guy's a lunatic. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. Too quick for him there. Harsh impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. This one is over. Everybody remembers their first big match, guys. And for Bobby Roode, his first time on the main run. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Suplex! Bobby Roode's SmackDown debut was undoubtedly glorious, as Corey mentioned. And his post-match comments that night, I think, went a long way in letting us know what type of person he really is. Definitely no shortage of confidence, Michael. Roode told Renee Young that he is big box office. And you know what? So far, he's been right. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. Root has really thrived on the main roster, guys, but perhaps his most glorious moment came in January of 2018 when he defeated Jinder Mahal in the finals of the tournament to crown a new United States champion. No, there's the reversal. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. you got to believe this one's over. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. He's got the shoulders down. Two. As Michael mentioned, Bobby Roode defeated Jinder Mahal in the grueling finals of the United States Championship Tournament. And truth be told, his road to the finals wasn't so easy either. Ha, <laughs> one of those rare moments. You're right, Saxton. In fact, a lot of people probably predicted that Rude would have faltered against Baron Corbin or Mojo Rawley in the earlier rounds. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. What a glorious kick out for Bobby Rude. Sometimes, guys, when a superstar with as much experience as Bobby Rude comes in, you'll see him struggle a bit before finally getting his footing. But I'll tell you, that was never the case with Bobby Rude. right off the apron. As Michael mentioned, some incoming competitors have struggled upon arriving in WWE, but Rude seemed immune to all of that. In fact, in less than a year, he became NXT Champion. And he held that championship for eight long months and then won the United States title just five months into his main roster career. 
If I had to sum up Rude's transition from NXT to W... And it's Dean Ambrose making a move. Ambrose, yes! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. Some might consider just getting a title opportunity as a success, but I assure you, this superstar will settle for nothing less than taking home the gold. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. Dean Ambrose, this is going to be big. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Bang! Dirty deeds. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Guys, there's no debating Bobby Roode's greatness since arriving here in WWE. But let's not forget, Roode was also a world-renowned superstar before he even showed up here. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's lining him up. If he sticks this, he is done. Perfect plex. Game, set, match, this one is over. All that's left now is for Ambrose to finish this. I'm gonna go. Schoolboy from behind, rolls through. Oh, there it is! Dirty deeds. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Two, three, three. Dean Ambrose wins! I can't believe it! And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner and new WWE World Champion, Dean Ambrose. Strategy fell into place with that victory. This was all about one competitor's refusal to lose. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. That's one of the